And now space bar, that's one that a lot of people want to do. Uh, and we've still got four minutes to use up the whole hour, but uh, let's jump into this quickly. So the way you do it is you expand the admin workflow. So we do have to look at the admin workflow. From there, you expand the interface. Now, this is the key. This is the thing you'll probably miss is you have to right click on the pop-ups and select import local copy. So it'll take what is the default, it'll make a local copy just for you, and then you can modify that any way you want. When you add your own panel, make sure the type is horizontal. I didn't do that once and I was just going nuts trying to figure out why it was going really wonky and it was because I had the panel type as vertical, all right? If you ever need to go back, you can go back and revert back use the revert to go back to the original. All right, let's 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 go do it. So again, we're gonna right click anywhere here. We're gonna go to customize ribbon. So you just go to the customize ribbon for the pop-up. Now what we're talking about is this, right, is the space bar. This is this, hit the space bar. This by the way is exactly the same or almost exactly the same list as the queue list. So this list here and the numbering one through seven, Q through U is the same shortcuts that you can use here. This is a fantastic way to bring up your move, copy, rotate, right? Space W, space E, space R works really well. What if you want to add your own? That's what we're doing. That's what this section's about. So we're gonna go back to customize ribbon we're going to go to admin. We're going to go to interface. We're going to go to the pop-ups. We're going to, this is the key, right click and say import local copy. There is something below this. There is no import below this. You do have to be at the pop-ups level here. You say import local copy. It crosses out the existing, makes a copy of it for you. So this is your copy of it. And now this is modifiable. So you could modify the first three rows or what we're gonna do is just add our own row. So you click on pop-up main, you say, I wanna add a new panel. We're gonna call this pop-up custom. Pop-up custom, check to make sure your panel that's horizontal, not vertical or some other thing. Uh, we've got what we want. And now we're gonna add on uh, just three tools here and, and then we'll be there. So we go pop up custom, we come over here, we say, what do we want? And like always, Mike puts place smart line on everything. You know, it's like people that put catch up on everything. I put smart line on everything. So we pick place smart line, we say add to that. This is an example, it didn't indent the way I wanted it to. So I have to click and drag this onto the pop up so that it is within uh, the pop-up custom tool. Then the next one I'm gonna add is measure. So we're gonna scroll back to the M's and we're gonna do measure distance. Add that on, that's a great tool. They're all great tools, but uh, these are ones that might be used a lot. And then under modify element, right? So there we go. We click apply to that. We could also assign a shortcut key. Uh, we can come back and show you that. You get rid of the space bar, hit space bar again. There's my smart line right there. There's my measure the distance. So, you know, from there to there and modify. And I could say, hey, I want to you know, stretch this line out a little bit. And there's my modify. So I've quickly added two. You could add something that's a panel just like these where it adds a whole panel. You could create that yourself or you could use an existing panel uh, that you bring up. So uh, mo modify is on here, but it's on here where you have to click modify and then click modify again. That's a tool that I might use a lot. So I want it, you know, a quicker access to it. Same thing on distance, same thing on smart line. Uh, if we wanted to add and we'll end with this, I think my hour is up. 
we're going to go back to interface and pop-ups and got to make sure you're looking at the right thing. And I'm just going to say that, well, guess what? It automatically did that. It gave that a, there's a one. We'll give this one a, a two and give this a three, All right? So there's my three, apply it. Now, uh, that was not good. I just re realized what I did. Uh, you can't do that because one, this is one, this is two, and this is three. So you do want to use something that's unique. So really what I should have used, and just show that it's possible, we'll go back one more time. Sorry for the delay here, Sean. We're almost done. Um, so let's use Z and measure distance will be X and modify element. That's the row below the ASDF, which was the last row. So we'll just keep the, the rows in order like they like they are. Click close apply. So spacebar Z, well, we gotta get rid of this first. Spacebar Z, uh, there's my measured distance for spacebar X, C, D, so they work. So that is how to customize the ribbon. If you ever need to put it back, and I'll just point it out, if I go to, and I'll, I'll leave a mine on in case that ends up being a question about it. But if you needed to go back, what you do is you can go back to this pop-ups. You probably want to get rid of this first, just exit out, delete your customization, go back to the standard pop-ups and do revert customization for selected ribbon item. Be careful because that will undo all of them. Uh, revert that will get rid of mine and go back to the to, to the generic in case you made a mistake somewhere. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.